In this video, we will show you how to file a beer manufacturer tax return. We protect all the confidential information you provide to us. First, go to our website, cdtfa.ca.gov, and at the top, click on Login. That will take you to the online services login page. You must log in with a username and password. For assistance with creating a username and password, please watch our tutorials online. On the CDTFA online services login page, we will enter our username and password, then click login. On the online services profile page, under the Accounts tab, we will click on the Beer Manufacturer hyperlink. This will take us to the Beer Manufacturer account page. Under the Periods tab, click on the return period for which you would like to file. In our example, we will file for the January 2024 period, which is displayed by its return end date of January 31, 2024. Click the File Return hyperlink next to the period for which you are filing. This brings us to the initial questions page. If you did not import beer into California during this reporting period, select No. In this example, we did import beer into California during this period, so we will select Yes. On the next question, you will have two options, manually enter your schedule or upload an Excel workbook. If you have multiple transactions, we recommend uploading an Excel workbook. To upload an Excel workbook, select Upload an Excel Workbook. You can download and complete the CDTFA-269-BM template here and upload it into the system by clicking Upload Schedule. Please note, once you've uploaded the schedule, the figures will pre-populate on the next page. However, in our example, we will show you how to manually add a schedule to your return. Select Manually and click Next. On the Beer Imported into California page, click Add a Record. If you completed the template and uploaded a schedule, the information on this page will populate for you. A window will appear, and you must enter all required information to proceed. Enter the required information, including the amount of beer imported into California. In our example, we imported 114.00 case gallons and 25 keg gallons. Then click Add. The record will now appear under the table. You can add more records by clicking Add a Record. You can also edit the record by clicking the pen and paper icon, copy the record with the clipboard icon, or delete the record with the paper and red X icon. In this example, we have nothing else to add and we'll click Next. This brings us to the Transactions of Beer page. On this page, enter the removal of tax paid beer as reported on your Alcohol and Tobacco Tax Trade Bureau TTB Form 5130.9 for removal or for use at a tavern on brewery premises in barrels. The system will automatically convert barrels to gallons when you enter your figures. Next, enter the removal of tax paid keg or case beer removed for export outside the U.S. in gallons. Please note, 139 gallons of beer imported into California, total from CDTFA-269-BM, was automatically pre-filled from the information entered on the previous page. If this is incorrect, click Previous to make corrections. If needed, enter other taxable gallons of beer transactions for which the state excise tax has not been paid. In this example, on the first row, we have 19,561 barrels of removed tax-paid keg beer. On the second row, we have 90,653 barrels of removed tax-paid case beer. On the third row, we have 36,274 barrels of tax-paid beer used at a tavern on brewery premises. On the fourth row, we have 10,326 gallons of beer exported outside the U.S. And finally, no other taxable transactions on the seventh row. Please note, for help with your return, you can click on the hyperlink Online Filing Instructions. Once you have entered your figures, click Next. On the exemptions page, remember to report all values to the nearest gallon. You must retain supporting documentation for any claim for exemption from tax at the licensed premises for all transactions. 
In our example, we do not have any imported in or bulk transfers to U.S. Internal Revenue Bond and will put zero. We have 10,326 gallons of beer exported or sold for export outside the U.S. on the second row and 20,478 gallons of beer exported or sold for export within the U.S. We do not have any return to bond and will put zero. We also do not have any federal tax paid beer destroyed and will put zero. We have no other exemptions to report and will put zero. Click Next. On the summary page, review the information displayed. If you need to make corrections, click the previous button to return to the applicable pages to edit information. Any rates reflected in this example are for illustration purposes only. For current tax rates, please visit our website. If everything is correct, click Next to proceed. Please read the disclosure information carefully. The law now requires any information except the name and the address of a natural person contained in beer manufacturer returns and supplemental schedules filed on or after January 1, 2024 be made public upon request. However, you as a beer manufacturer may elect to prohibit disclosure of any information contained in your beer manufacturer return and accompanying schedules. If you wish to keep your return confidential, you may opt out of disclosing your information. Click the box if you do not want your return and schedule information disclosed for this reporting period and wish to opt out. After reviewing the disclosure page, click Next. On the Your Information page, enter your required information and click Submit. When you click Submit, a window will appear to confirm your intent to file electronically and that your return is true, correct, and complete. Please read the information carefully. Enter your password and click OK to submit. This will serve as your authorization and confirmation. You will not receive a confirmation email. This confirmation page represents a return filing only. Please take note of your confirmation number and the total amount due. We recommend that you print this page for future reference. To make an electronic payment, click on the Make a Payment button. To print your submitted return, click on the Print Return button. If you still have questions, please call our Customer Service Center at 1-800-400-7115, California Relay Service at 711.